In this tutorial, you will learn how to design this table in FreeCAD 1.0.1. One body consists of a tubular frame, and the other body consists of a glass tabletop. Features like mirror, thickness, and pattern will be used in the Part Design Workbench. For the new users, select the Part Design Workbench and create a new sketch with this button. Then click on the XZ plane to start sketching on the space. This sketch will contain a quarter of the table frame. Select the Polyline tool in the toolbar here. Click on the horizontal axis to start sketching there. Start slightly to the left of the vertical axis. Draw the following shape. Each time you click, you will add a vertex. Finally, click on the first vertex to close the loop. Right-click twice to exit the polyline tool. Click on these two short lines to select them. Use the equal constraint to make the lines equal. Click on the Dimension tool and add a dimension of 330 millimeter to this line. Make this vertical line 400 millimeter long and make the short line 40 millimeter long. Finally, click this vertex and drag the mouse to the upside. Enter a dimension of 20 millimeter, which is half the size of a tube. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature. Check symmetric to plane and enter a length of 40 millimeter. All tubes will be 40 by 40 millimeter. Click OK to apply. Create a new sketch and click the plane perpendicular to the frame. Select the Polyline tool in the toolbar here. And draw the following shape with the top line hitting the horizontal axis. Click on the first vertex to close the loop. Right-click twice to exit the Polyline tool. Click on the two short lines to select them. Use the equal constraint to make them equal. Click on the dimension tool and add a dimension of 700 millimeter to the top line. Make this vertical line 400 millimeter long, which is the height of the frame. The short line will be 40 millimeter long. Now click these two vertices and drag the mouse to the right. Enter a distance of 40 millimeter. Now the upper tube will also be 40 millimeter thick. Click a vertex and hold to drag the whole sketch. Click on these two vertices and finally on the vertical axis. Then add a symmetrical constraint. The right part is not fully constrained yet. Click on these two lines to select them and use the equal constraint to make them equal. Click close to exit the fully constrained sketch. Select the pad feature. Enter a length of 40 millimeter and check symmetric to plane. Click OK to apply. Now select the first pad which is the first part of the frame. Select the mirror tool here. The part has been mirrored over the second part of the frame. Click OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Select the four bottom faces while holding Control. Go to the Thickness tool. Enter a 3 mm thickness for the tubes. All tubes are open because all end faces were selected. Click OK to apply. 
Now it's time to create a sketch for the holes in the tubes. Select the top plane to sketch on. Only one hole will be drawn with the circle tool. Click on the horizontal axis and drag the mouse. Enter a distance of 15 mm. Click on the eye icon of the latest feature to hide the model. There's only a vertex, this could be a bug. Delete it and draw a new circle. Now just click instead of adding a dimension directly. The circle is now visible. Select the dimension tool and add a diameter of 15 mm. Click on the center point of the circle and add a distance of 275 mm from the origin. Click on the eye icon again to show the model. The hole is in the right position. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pocket tool and choose through all. The hole is now drilled through the entire tube. Click OK to apply. Click on the pocket and then on the polar pattern tool. Enter four occurrences to create four holes. Leave the other settings as they are. Click OK to apply. The frame is complete now. Select the body and press F2. Enter frame as the name of the body. Then create a new body and rename it to top. And create a sketch on the top plane. Select the circle tool and create one on the origin with a diameter of 800 millimeter. Now toggle construction mode with this button, the sketch buttons will turn blue. Create another circle for the holes on the origin with a diameter of 550 millimeter. Toggle construction mode again. Select the circle tool and draw four circles on the dotted circle. Right-click to exit the circle tool. You can move the existing dimensions if you want. Click on the four circles to select them. And make them all equal by clicking this button. All circles must be fixed to the axis. Select a center point and click on an axis. Then use the coincident constraint to fix it on the axis. Do this for all circles to position the holes. Add a diameter of 15 millimeter to only one circle. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature. Extrude it 5 mm and click on OK. Right click on the top body in the tree and select appearance. Set the transparency to 80% and click on close. Hold control and click on the four outer hole edges. Also select the upper outer edge of the tabletop. 
Select the chamfer tool and add a 4 mm distance. The table model is now completed, including countersunk holes. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.